All right, welcome back, Project Lightning, for another video. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the mods that I've done, what I've got in the store here. I obviously can't film every single little thing or it'd get kind of boring, but I have done a few things and talk about some of the little things that really count. First thing is gonna be this clear bra. Uh, I got the SunTech clear bra installed on the front bumper. And as you can see, the clarity of this is pretty unbelievable. It's time for the bugs here. I can already tell from driving the car that it saved me a time or two from rock chips and I can't even tell that it's on there. So it's about the best money I spent. Uh, a guy here at CGS Vinyl in Pelham, Alabama, his name is Neil. Uh, he's the one that did the install and I couldn't be happier with it. Next you'll notice that my hood vents are gone. Uh, I had wrapped them myself uh, with uh, gloss black, but I just really couldn't get them right, uh, especially around where the vent was. So I've got those off and they're gonna be painted gloss black. Uh, me and one of my friends from the Mustang group here, since we're all on S550, we wrapped this roof black. Okay, now that we're in focus, wrapped the roof gloss black. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is the little thing. Sometimes it's the little thing that really make a difference on the vehicle. So inside here, got these door plate covers uh, and they're the striker covers from eBay. I'll pop a little picture up of uh, you know what I searched for, what I got. Uh, I actually picked these up from a member in the group. He turned me on to them and they're about you can find them anywhere from five to eleven dollars for a set of uh, four of them and you'll have an extra set you can give to somebody else uh, but this really cleans up the look of the door jam in my opinion and uh, instead of just having that that metal piece there also in the front here we've got these i think i paid six dollars ship from china for these on the front here and it really cleans up the look so they just pop on we pop one off here. You know, that's what you had before. And then with this on here, that's what it looks like. So, much better look, in my opinion, than, you know, it just being plain. Man, look at them big ass Brembo's. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get back to the video. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I just did a Roush intake install on this uh, vehicle. Uh, the one thing I did left out, it was pointed out by somebody, is uh, the 2017 cars, this EVAP line here, they left it off. And on the uh, 16 below, they had that EVAP line. So all I did, since I didn't have the plug, I bought this second hand, I took and I uh, put that bolt down through there and the bolt comes down to about right here and I uh, glued it in there. So that's what I'm working with until I can find a plug for that. I'm probably gonna take this right here. It turned out a little glossier than what I want it to. Probably gonna take the wrinkle paint and go back over just the top portion here with the wrinkle paint and it'll more match my engine cover. Uh, and just in my opinion, looks a whole lot better than with that glossy effect. So the next up thing that I'm probably gonna do this car Probably gonna be one to tent. It's just, I mean, it's hot as hell outside. I mean, feels like we're at the devil's doorstep in, in Alabama. I don't know what everybody else is feeling like, but it's, it's pretty horrible here. Uh, the rear marker lights will just make me think, what, when I sent off for the hood vents, the rear marker lights, I'm also getting those painted right now. They are dipped black for the light to shine through. I had a video on how I did that, and it shines like a little, uh, stripe of light, let's get the key out of here. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like now, but I'm getting them painted black. And when I get them painted black, I'm gonna leave the bulb unplugged. They're, they're useless to me. Uh, so window tent, probably gonna go to the next thing. And then after window tent, I don't know if I'm gonna focus on suspension and get rid of some of that horrendous wheel gap there, or if I'm gonna go for the tune. Uh, when I go to put suspension on, it's gonna be BMR Performance Springs. 
and the performance springs that I, that I put onto the car. Uh, when I do the springs, I also want to do on the rear end, the cradle lockout kit. And with the cradle lockout kit, I would like to be able to do the lower control arm bearing as well. BMR now has a cheaper option on the control arm bearing. It's just a smaller bearing uh, and I may give that a try. So that's kind of the, the plans that I'm looking at. I think it's gonna look awesome with the gloss black hood vents and the gloss black roof with this color combination on the car. And the blue's really starting to grow. I mean, this light and blue color is something amazing. So anyway, that's the, all that I got for y'all, you guys today in a video. Uh, just something kind of short, talk about some of the things that I've done, what I'm, what I'm looking at doing in the future. Remember to comment, give me some suggestions. What do you guys think? Any mods that you know of that you might want to see me do? Uh, let me know in the comments section. And thank everybody for watching.